stated that without the causes mercy of the Newton and the Prabhu, one cannot enter into the affairs of Radha and Krishna. Om Jnana Timirandasya Jnana Jnana Shalakaya Chakshurana Vinitanye Jnana Tasmai Shri Gurave Nama Shri Chaitanya Prabhu Vishnam Sapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadayam Dadati Swapadamitikam Pandeyam Shri Guru Shri Uta Padakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavamstram Shri Rupam Sargatatam Sahaganam Nakam Vitam Tam Sajeevam Sadvaitam Sabadutam Paritana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padam Sahaganavarita Shri Vishakam Vitamstram E Krishna Pranasindu Dheera Mandu Jagarpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namusute Tata Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vindarate Shri Vishabhanu Sute Devi Pramami Harindye Vancha Kalpa Rubya Chakra Pasindu Bevacha Patita Nam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavebhyo Namo Namaha Namo Vishnu Paraya Krishna Pritaya Bhutale Shri Mathe Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswate Devi Amani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyabari Pashtata Deshadayine Lai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadada Shri Vasari Gaurava Bhakti Vrindya Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So, due to divine intervention, we read the verse that says, Jaya Jaya Nityananda Charanada Vinda, Yuna Haite Pahinu Shri Radha Ko Vinda. All glory, all glory to the lotus feet of Lord Vidyananda, by whose mercy I have attained Sri Radha Gobi. I was also planning to read this verse, so I'll just read the translation. The, the, excuse me, these two are one in the same identity. They differ only in form. Lord Balram is the first bodily expansion of Krishna, and he assists Lord Krishna's transcendental pastime. The original Lord Krishna appeared in Navadvipa as Lord Chaitanya, and Balaram appeared with him as Lord Nityananda. So this is the position. So again, I've been asked to speak about Lord Nityananda in preparation for uh, Lord Nityananda theory. So I thought we could um, speak a little bit uh, about um, this uh, position of Lord Nityananda, and then again, I don't know how this sent Narottam Das Thakur is referenced in this purport, and what I've prepared is I thought we could go through um, this very beautiful um, budget composed by Narottam Das Thakur, um, which is Nitai Padakawa Koti Chanda Shishu Tala. So we'll go through that uh, budget and read uh, some of the translations and try to understand the meaning behind it, and maybe time permitting, we'll even try to sing it. So, who is Lord Nityananda? That was from the first verse, the, 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 the verse I just read. Uh, Krishna Skaviraj Goswami is establishing that who is Lord Nityananda? He is Lord Balaram. So, we know Lord Balaram is the first expansion from Lord Krishna. And Srila Prabhupada tells us that there is actually no difference between Lord Balaam and Lord Krishna. They are just in two different colors, actually. And he refers to even Lord Balaam as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So, Lord Balaam um, is the uh, first expansion, and from there all other expansions emanate. And when Krishna appears as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which we'll be discussing in a few weeks, um, of course, Lord Balaram will appear with him, 
And so Lord Balaram appears as Lord Nityananda. And we know Lord Balaram uh, serves as he is Param Guru. He is the source of all Guru Tattva. He uh, is the original spiritual master. So in that regard, um, Lord Balaram and Lord Nityananda are extremely important to us in our process of devotional service. As we'll see in this prayer composed by Narutam Das Thakur, and that we read in the purport, that one cannot approach Krishna directly. One must go through Guru, Guru Param. And one obtains the mercy of Guru by the mercy of Lord Nityananda. So we uh, approach Lord Nityananda as the Adi Guru, the source of all knowledge, who can teach us the practice of spiritual life. And this is that position. Lord Balaram, we know, Bala means strength. And so we search and we seek for the mercy of Lord Balaram for strength, not physical bodily strength, but actual consciousness strength, strength to practice spiritual life. We will encounter many, many turbulent circumstances in our journey of spiritual life. And it is by the mercy of Lord Balaram and Lord Nityananda that we can acquire the strength to overcome those obstacles. And when we pray to the feet of Lord Nityananda, those obstacles become very small. But without the prayers of, to Lord Nityananda, actually we have no hope to overcome them. So, Lord Nityananda is the source of our spiritual strength. His name itself is a benediction. Nitya Ananda. This is what we are all searching for. Eternal happiness. And Lord Nityananda is, he is the giver to all of us of eternal happiness by instructing us in the process of devotional service. As we saw in this verse, and as we'll see in Lord Nasthakura's prayers, unless one seizes the desire to enjoy the material world, one will find no ananda, no happiness. One must give up this desire if one wants to find real, lasting happiness. But due to our illusion, our hunkar, our false ego, we are constantly searching in this corner, in that corner, in that realm, this, where to find happiness in this material world. But actually, Lord Nityananda is telling us that we must seize all material desires. That is the only means to find real, lasting peace. Otherwise, you'll get a few moments of flickering happiness in this material world that will be sandwiched between prolonged periods of distress and suffering. And we know Lord Nityananda is most famous for his unlimited mercy and compassion. You know, pleasing Radha Krishna, Radha Kunj Bihari, that takes a very pure heart very elevated position. And so what to do if one has not yet reached that platform? We can work to please Lord Nityananda. Because if we please Lord Nityananda, then automatically Garanga Mahaprabhu and Krishna and Shumati Radharani will be pleased. Lord Nityananda is so compassionate. And we know in this pastime of Jagannadai, which I have the picture here, even though Lord Nityananda was physically attacked, a wine pot thrown at his head, bleeding, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu be 
became enraged and immediately called for his subversion of Jaffa. And Lord Nityananda begged Chaitanya to forgive them, to let it go. And that was the great fortune. So, a moment prior, Jagai and Madai were, were seeking to attack, and Madai had attacked Lord Nityananda. And simply by falling at the feet, even in the mood of self preservation, so Madai is begging Chaitanya Mahaprabhu for forgiveness. And he says, I cannot forgive you because you have offended my Lord Nityananda. So then he asked Lord Nityananda to forgive him. And Madai falls at the feet of Lord Nityananda and holds down to his feet. Again, in the mood of what? Love? Surrender? Simply self-preservation. Save me. But even in that, what we can consider motivated mood, Matai became completely purified. Instantly. He began to take to the chanting of the holy names. He was brought by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Lord Nityananda into the intimate circle of ecstatic kirtan and became this very powerful devotee. Immediately he began chanting the holy names of the Lord day and night, serving the devotees. His whole heart changed in an instant. Even was technically speaking, an impure mood of surrender. How that transformation is possible? It's only by the unlimited mercy of Lord Nityananda. So imagine if we, with some sincere mood, approach Lord Nityananda and beg to his loyalty to please purify my heart so that I may take to this process of Krishna consciousness sincerely, enthusiastically, in a determined way. Imagine how we will reciprocate. So this is Lord Nityananda's very special position. He is unlimitedly merciful. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is called Mahabadanaya, most merciful. But who is most, most merciful? Lord Nityananda. Lord Nityananda is most, most merciful. And we cannot even approach Lord Nityananda, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu without the mercy of Lord Nityananda. So by, again, divine intervention in our Vedic calendar, we get to celebrate first Nityananda Tayodasi, the appearance of Lord Nityananda, and meditate on the glories of Lord Nityananda. And we can pray to him to receive the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Because one cannot receive the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu without first approaching Lord Nityananda. Krishna's Kaviraj Goswami was really chastising his brother. Because his brother was a great, great devotee of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But he was neglectful of showing love and respect to Lord Nityananda. And he said, this is most foolish. How you can love Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and neglect Lord Nityananda. He said, this is half-hand logic. What is half-hand logic? His half-hand logic is, there is a hen. And it is laying golden eggs. These golden eggs are very valuable. So, the owner of this golden hen 
is enjoying these golden eggs every day they are coming. But at some point, this owner becomes greedy and says, you know, I like these eggs coming out this side, but I have to spend some money to feed the hen on this side. Better I cut the hen in half and keep the side that is giving eggs. This is half hen logic. This is trying to worship Jacob and Mahabharata without first showing our utmost surrender to Lord Nityananda. So Lord Nityananda is our entry point into the Panchatattva pastimes. And as we'll see, without mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Lord Nityananda, one cannot enter into the pastimes of It is impossible. So this is the position. So just a brief um, sketch of Lord Nityananda's pastimes. So he appeared in the town of Ekachakra, which is a few hours from Makshri Mayapur town. Very beautiful. Anybody has been to Ekachakra? Very sweet place, very beautiful place, very peaceful and wonderful place. It is not overrun by development. It is still a very, very uh, sweet place. So you can desire to work at Tananda today and on Tananda Tananda saying that someday it will grant us residence or at least entrance into Eka Chakra. So Eka Chakra is the place where Lord Nityananda appeared. He appeared 20 years prior to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Excuse me, 12 years prior, not 20. He appeared 12 years prior um, to Lord uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he is famous in Eka Chakra being the son of Adai Pandit for performing many you know, wonderful pastimes. One of his most you know, famous activities as a child is he used to put on extraordinary dramas of all of the different Krishna Leelas, Lord Ram Leelas, all different uh, pastimes from our Shastra. He would put on exquisite um, uh, dramas and so real that he would wake up all the boys at midnight to enact the, the, the appearance of Lord Krishna and Vasudevji going through the river and he would make the boys carry you know, a basket with a baby through the river at midnight uh, celebrating you know, Krishna's journey to go. So like this, uh, Lord Nityananda performed many of these uh, very beautiful pastimes. And of course the residents were sort of wondering, Lord Nityananda, where do you learn these? We don't have in our library in the village any of these pastimes are written, any knowledge has been given, nobody has come and shared. Where have you learned all these pastimes? And he said, these are my pastimes. <laughs> but nobody could fully understand the purport of that statement. When the Lord Nityananda had reached uh, the age uh, 12, um, when Sanyasi came, I'm confused, 12 or 12? 12. 12. Uh, when Sanyasi came and uh, pleased Hadai Pandit very much, and, uh, and Hadai Pandit offered some boon back, and this, uh, this Sanyasi asked for Lord Nityananda to come accompany him traveling all over India. And so Lord Nityananda, for almost 20 years, Traveled all over India, visiting all the holy places, and then took up residence in Vrindavan. And there he was waiting for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to inaugurate his son Kirtana movement. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared at this time in which uh, Lord Nityananda left home with this sannyasi. And so for the first 20 years of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastimes in, in Navadvip, 
Lord Nityananda was residing in Shirindam town. And when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was ready to fully inaugurate the Sankirtana movement, then he called for Lord Nityananda. And Lord Nityananda was very ecstatic to come and participate in this pastime. And from there, uh, Lord Nityananda became the prime agent for distributing Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy. When he went to go deliver Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, why he wanted to deliver them? He said, if these most fallen persons can be delivered by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy, then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's true glories will be understood. This was the consciousness of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Anyway, so these past times continue. We'll, um, I think in the coming weeks we'll discuss more of these different instructive pastimes. But I thought today we could spend a little bit more time trying to understand the, the position of Lord Nityananda and his, um, how we can, the mood in which we can approach Lord Nityananda. Um, and as I mentioned, this is uh, the beautiful uh, glorification of Lord Nityananda composed by Narakam Das Thakur, who also we read from Srila Prabhupada's purports. So the first two lines of this uh, verse, Nitai Pada Kamala, Koti Chandra Sushitala, Jechaya Jagata Jurai. What is Dr. Das Thakur saying? He's saying, well, you'll read the translation. The lotus feet of Lord Nityananda are a shelter where one will get the soothing moonlight, not of only one, but millions of moons. If the world wants to have real peace, it should take shelter of Lord Nityananda. Unless one takes shelter of the lotus feet of Lord Nityananda, it will be very difficult for him to approach Radha Krishna. One actually wants to enter into the dancing party of Radha Krishna. He must firmly catch hold of the lotus feet of Lord Nityananda. So our first step in spiritual life is to accept the reality that the material world is a miserable place. It is a place of our burning existence. What are we burning from? Not necessarily physical fire, but from the difficulties that plague the conditioned soul. When we remain attached to this material body and to the senses, life becomes very difficult. All the difficulties we actually experience in life that we perceive, they're 100% connected to this connection that we maintain to the material world. So how to find relief from that? This Northern Rastakura means Nitai Pai, the feet of Lord Nityananda. This is the place that actually we can get relief from all of our suffering. We are searching for relief through so many other means, trying to accumulate more wealth, more fame, more beauty, more strength, more intelligence, all futile. But how do we actually find some cooling effect to this difficulty in the material world? It is only at the lotus feet of Lord Nitya. That is what will be the soothing moonlight. Of how many moons? Koti. Millions and millions. Not one. But millions of moons. So this is the opportunity. But, as Nautam Das Dr. calls in the second line, Enonita Nideva Radha Krishna Inonitai 
if you don't take to the shelter of Lord Yajananda, no hope to approach the pastimes of Radhakrishna. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came in the mood of Srimati Radharani to reveal these most elevated rasa of devotional service. But that will remain fully inaccessible unless we hold on firmly to the feet of Lord Nityananda. We should not just hold on, but we should hold on firmly. If we are drowning in an ocean and somebody throws us a life vest, one of those like circle tubes, with how much enthusiasm and sincerity will we hold on to that life vest? Casually? One arm? One arm on our cell phone? We will drop everything and just hold on tight. Hold on firmly. Don't just casually see the lotus feet of Lord Nityananda. That's nice. And move on. We should meditate through our consciousness on these very cooling, soothing feet of Lord Nityananda. And be firm. Vidyakuri Dharo. Completely attached to the feet of Lord Nityananda. valuable human birth. Brace yourself for this next sentence. Such a human being is actually an uncontrollable animal. But without a relationship with Lord Nityananda, what is the value of our Janma? say that, that seems very, you know, extreme. Narutam Das Thakur explains that unless one has ended their relationship with the material world, what will be their existence like? An uncontrollable animal. Say Pashu Boro. What it means is uncontrolled, not just an animal. And Srila Prabhupada comments in the purport to this. He says that, you know, a cat or a dog can be tamed. And we see that very popular in our current culture. You know, we sleep with our dogs now. But this is not the type of animal that one becomes. One becomes an uncontrolled, untamed. Why? What is untamed? The untamed is our desires. When we are full of material desires, they'll not be satisfied. And we will go to any end to try to satisfy them. That lust, it rages so ferociously that we are willing to break right from wrong. We know it's wrong to steal, but still, driven by this intense lust, we'll do it anyways. We know it's wrong to cheat, to kill, to do whatever, but this lust, it burns so strong that we become uncontrollable. 
Just as someone is trying to control the wild tiger or wild horse that cannot control, like that, the conditioned soul bounces in this material world. So Srila Prabhupada writes that a thief, a thief cannot be righted by man's laws. We know that. Laws are clear. And are they all followed? Even though threat of punishment is there, proof of punishment is evident, but still it cannot tame this lusty desire. So this is the result of say Sambandha Nahi. Without a relationship with Lord Nityananda, we can consider our Janna to be waste. This is the position of Lord Nityananda. Lord Nartamdas Thakur is really enlightening us how important Lord Nityananda is in our spiritual life. It continues. Nitaina bolo ke majiro samsara suke vidya kule ki kumoro kori meta. That this, if one doesn't use the muke, their mouth, to speak the names of Lord Nityananda, they'll simply try and be absorbed in material life. In all of their knowledge, their vidya. And Kule, their family, their birthright, all of it, it will help nothing. No help. So, this is the position of one who has not approached Lord Nityananda. Why does this happen? tells us in the third verse. Ahankara matamaya Nitai para pasariya Asya tere satya kurimani Ahankara This false ego That puts us in illusion Thinking I am this body And that I should try to find my happiness in this material What happens in that state? I'll never see the feet of Lord Nityananda. What is false, I consider to be truth. And what is truth, I consider to be false. This is the materially conditioned mind. When we speak of God, the spiritual world, our relationship, all oh, that is all false. What is reality? My power, my position, my opportunity to conquer this world. That is all false hopes. But this is the mind of the conditioned soul. Who is under? Ahankar. False So again, the translation, being maddened after false prestige and identification with the body. One who is thinking, oh, what is Nityananda? What can he do for me? I don't care. The result, he is accepting something false to be true. The second part of this, Nityaya Karuna. If you want to approach the association of Radha Krishna, you must first achieve the mercy of Lord Nityananda. When He is merciful toward you, then you will be able to approach Radha Krishna. Therefore, you should firmly grasp. Twice now we're saying, how should we hold on to the feet of Lord Nityananda? Casually? With one arm, one finger? Our 
hold right. So we should firmly hold on to the lotus feet of the Lord. Otherwise, we have no hope. Now, we get to the conclusion. We've talked about all the things that happen when we don't engage in the lotus feet of the Lord. Now, Nityaya Chalana Satya Tara Seva Ka Nitya Nityaya Parasara Purvasha The Lotus Seed of Lord Nityananda The Lotus Seed of Nityananda are not illusion. They are fact. One who engages in the chance of loving service of Nityananda is also transcendental. Always try to catch the lotus feet of Lord Nityananda. Now we see Narutandas Thakur Supreme. Narutandas Rodukhi Nitai Mone Koro Sukhi Rathoranga Chananaya Pasha What's he saying? It's Narutandas! He's very dukhi, unhappy. What's going to make him happy? More money? More followers on Instagram and Facebook? More beauty? What's going to make him happy? Nittai You make me happy. Nittai more. Koro suki. You make me. How? Keeping me very close to these cooling feet. There's a shelter, our actual only shelter in this material world. So this is Narutam Das's beautiful prayer, which gives us some clue into how to find real happiness in this material world. Without detaching from this material sense enjoyment, we'll just be stuck like this untamed animal, chasing after our lust and performing so many sinful activities. But it can be immediately cut, this false ego, this ahankara, by a sharp knife, a machete. Lord Nityananda's cooling feet. How many of us would like to now embrace the feet of Lord Nityananda? That happens in our consciousness, in our hearts. It is not about physically grasping the feet of Lord Nityananda. Of course, that's also very cooling and soothing. But holding on to the feet of Lord Nityananda it means that in our consciousness we are understanding that our real shelter is Lord Nityananda. We look for shelter, protection, safety from all these struggles we find in life. But actually, it is the mercy of Lord Nityananda that can truly save us. And if we approach Remember, Madaish approached Lord Nityananda in a mood of self-preservation. And even in that mood, he became a stalwart devotee of the Lord. So if we approach Lord Nityananda in this mood of begging for his shelter, his protection, and his mercy, so that we can progress in devotional service. Then he will certainly be so happy as Guru Tattva. Guru has only one goal, and that is to connect disciple to Krishna. And so Lord Nityananda will be most pleased to engage us in the loving devotional service of Shri Radha Kunjana. And that is why when we come into the temple. We first offer obeisances to Srila Prabhupada. Because without Srila Prabhupada, 
How many of us would even know Lord Nityanand? How we would even know these beautiful prayers of Narutam Das Thakur? And you all must know that Srila Prabhupada gave us the greatest of all gifts that these Gornitai deities are the last deities Srila Prabhupada personally installed in this world. And these are present here, right in front of us. And we have an opportunity to offer obeisances to these deities that Srila Prabhupada personally left to us as a gift. And so when we offer our obeisances, we can pray to the cooling feet of Lord Nityananda. We got for Krishna. Thank you very much. Lord Nityananda Ram. Any comments or questions? Shall we sing this budget? I'm a terrible singer of it, but we'll give it a shot. How about that? You can read that. If you're not, you can bring it on your phone.
and the most auspicious appearance they did to them that to go to seek ease. Yeah. Yeah.